guys um, this is Jeanette I wanted to kind of do a um, how to get into nursing school or really how did I get into nursing school I guess so I'm just gonna go down the list of what I did to um, prepare and apply and all that good stuff so first um, research the type of program that you're interested in there are a few ways you can become an RN um, if you're trying to become an LPN or an LVN um, they have other, they have different applications for you to look at. So um, first figure out what type of nurse you want to become and where you actually want to get your education. Um, if you're looking for out-of-state programs, um, go to the school's website, download the application package, and then go from there. Um, so once you find out and you kind of narrow down to which schools you want to apply to, now you know exactly what you need to work on. Um, and also it allows you to get all of the key dates, you know, the when's the application due, um, if there's any supplemental, I don't know, um, recommendation letters, when do you need to hand that in, um, and also we'll let you know when you need to register and take um, your entrance exams if your school program um, requires that. So yeah, uh, do a lot of research. Um, there's the, you know, BSN four-year route, there's the two-year ADN, there's um, LVN, 2RN, um, and all these other programs. So research the type of program you want. Now we're down your list of um, the schools you want to apply to. Put it all in a binder, um, then start planning on what you need to do to complete each application. Um, all right, cool. So next, um, I made a list of, you know, my goals in order to be an RN. Um, so I call it the journey to RN. Um, and it goes from one, researching, two, printing out all the materials, three, asking questions, um, actually applying, taking entrance exams, uh, getting a physical done, you know, everything that kind of leads up to me becoming an RN. And every time I, you know, complete one, I'll mark it off or yes, I did attend an informational meeting, check. Or I did register for my HESI or my TES exam, check. Um, so that actually motivated me because, you know, the more that I do, the less, that I, the less steps I, I have to actually become an RN. So now I'm in the, I got into nursing school, check. Um, so I am excited about that. Um, but yeah, let's stick to um, the goal here. Um, Next, most likely you have some prereqs to finish. So find a community college. Um, I say that just because you can save money uh, completing your science prereqs or anything else. Uh, the more prereqs that you do have complete, um, the better your chances are of being selected versus a student who doesn't have all the prereqs completed. So, I mean, that could be your AMP 1 and 2. Um, let's see, your microbiology, a speech. And, you know, each school is different, so take a look at that. Um, during the application process, I'm pretty sure that they will, you know, look at the applications and see which student um, has taken most of their prereqs and, you know, obviously which one only needs to take nursing classes. And they, and they prefer that you get all the non-nursing classes out of the way just so you can focus on nursing classes. So, yeah, um, make sure you register, complete your prereqs, and then also some applications have deadlines when the prereqs have to be in or at least your grades so if you're taking AMP 2 your application is due April but your classes end until August uh, yeah take a closer look just to make sure that you can meet all of your deadlines good so next um, I personally decided to enroll in a CNA uh, program course um, I wanted to you know see what it is to be in healthcare, and I wanted to get my license just in case I wanted to work during nursing school as a CNA. Um, so it gave me a great experience, and I was so excited to be at clinicals and you know helping people out and all that good stuff. So a CNA course is a good way to introduce yourself to the healthcare profession. Um, yeah, and also um, some applications ask you if you are a CNA and they give you a little slot where you can put your license number. I did that for maybe one of my applications. So I don't know if that helps, you know, to choose, you know, a student who has a CLA license versus a student who doesn't. Maybe it helped, maybe it didn't. You don't know. Okay. 
So next is your entrance exams. Everyone talks about them, C and T's. <laughs> um, depending on each program, and each program is different, um, they will either ask for a T's or a HESI, or maybe there isn't an entrance exam. And then also, every school program has different requirements. Some may only need for you to take three sections, others may need for you to take all of them. Some may need a score of 65 or above, some may need 75 or above. Or, you know, so it's totally different. You have to look at, lay out all your applications, find out which exam you need to take, find out the minimum requirements that you need to take, and then go get the study aids for those. Um, the best uh, way for you to prepare is to really look at the study guides. I mean, they're made for <laughs> for people to actually uh, review and, and um, pass these, these tests. Um, and make sure that you study ahead of time. Don't try to cram, go through one study book, you know, a week before the exam. You're going to get stressed out, and you do not want to be stressed out when you have to take a really long, timed, um, exhausting exam. So there you go. So next, um, this is really important. You need to apply by the deadline. Apply on time. Do not be late. Do not delay anything. Uh, get your application filled as soon as possible. Make sure that you ask for transcripts to be sent to all the programs you're applying to. Make sure that the people that are writing your recommend recommendation letters know your due, due, um, your due date. Um, you do not want to apply late and jeopardize you getting in. So know your deadlines, make sure you meet them, and that's that. And also follow up. Um, if you apply, find out when you're supposed to hear back. That at least gives you an idea you know, what's going on, I should expect an email by now or a letter in the mail. Um, and also there are some programs, um, it allows for you to set up an online account and then they may have a checkoff list and it says, you know, you submitted this, 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 and you're missing this, this, this. So make sure you follow up. There's nothing worse than you think your application is complete and then you're missing a transcript from the school. So yeah, apply on time and complete application fully. And then um, start your immunizations, your, you know, your vaccines and all this stuff. Find out what the schools need. Uh, some series may take a, a certain amount of time that you may not be able to meet if you don't start early. And this also goes for like a CPR card. Um, those you kind of want to wait until closer to the start date of your uh, program just to make sure that it's good for the amount, you know, the length of the time that you're in the program. So um, I, I just say, you know, start your series. If you have, if your mom has your records, ask her, you know, create a folder, put all, all of your medical histories, anything in there. Um, you do not want to be searching, calling doctors, you know, the day before when everything is due. Get yourself organized. There's no way that you're going to make it into nursing school if you're not organized before, you know. Um, so that's that. So these are the side notes. Um, I, ho I hope that was helpful. Okay. Um, other things that I feel like may have played um, some type of role in me being selected as um, one of 30 uh, in my nursing program. So one, um, I do have a bachelor's. So I don't know if they prefer students with another degree um, but I, I do have a bachelor's, so I, I feel like maybe that translates into I am a good student, I have a degree already, I'm, you know, motivated, or I can handle nursing school. I don't know. Um, not saying that you need a bachelor's or anything like that, but I don't know. Okay. Um, my undergrad um, GPA was pretty good. I think it was a 3.6. Um, so that probably weighed into it. Um, also, my science prereqs were also up there. I think it was a 3.5. Um, so I think that helped. Um, I was in the high 80s, not low 90s for both, I think, my HESI and my T's. So I think I performed pretty well. Um, let's see. So I can't, oh, and I had my CNA license. Again, I don't know if that's being weighed, um, but that's that. Um, 
that's all I can think of. So anyway, so once you apply, stay positive. Some of these programs will contact people like the week before the program starts because people have dropped out, whether they're, you know, they got accepted to a better school, something that's closer or, you know, financially or they're going through something that they can't actually attend. So stay positive. Um, and then also have a backup plan. <clears throat> have, a, have two backup plans. I had a plan A, plan B, plan C. I did not put all my eggs in one, back, one basket. I applied to three programs and you wanna do that. You want to apply to more than one school. I don't know why I didn't say that earlier. You wanna to apply to more than one school. You do not want to become devastated when that one program you wanted to get into, you do not get into it. Um, so I applied to three. So just an FYI, I got on the alternate list for one. I got conditionally accepted pending my grade in pharmacology for the second. And then I just got accepted uh, to the program that I'm planning to attend in January. So I felt pretty good. Some of my classmates only applied to one school. And so their, their stress level is high and all this stuff. And um, so it's very important, have plan A, plan B, plan C. I even had a plan where, what if I didn't get into um, the nursing program? What am I gonna do with that other you know year until I can get in? Will I consider doing an LVN and then going from an LVN to an RN program or will I go work as a CNA and just get more um, work experience um, and then try to get into RN school that following, you know, uh, fall. So yeah, have backup plans. Um, stay positive. Research. There's nothing worse than you... <laughs> not having a clue about something that you could have had a clue. You know, read your packets, read the applications word for word, highlight what you need to do, put it on a calendar. Um, don't just leave things sitting there and then out of nowhere, you're like, oh, I forgot to get this done, and etc. So yeah, um, good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, and Merry Christmas. I think I'll have more videos, but enjoy the tree in the back. Um, Alright guys, have a good one. Bye.